All right, guys, what's going on? Oh, Lord. Anyway, um, I'm not doing too good hearing what I heard, uh, and I'm going to talk about it. But before I do the, all that, um, you know, thanks to everybody. Thanks all uh, subscribers, members, everybody just watches the channel. Uh, thank you. So let me go ahead and uh, address what I need to address here. And uh, Chris, Chris McDonough, if you're watching, uh, let me know what you think. So last night, guys, I was listening to a live stream, and Don Wells was on it, and he says, you know, he's going on about people drinking and fishing and hanging around certain crowds, and then he goes on to say, you know, when, when you have kids, but when you have kids, you can't do that no more. I had to come out of nowhere for me, guys. I, I wasn't expecting it. And Chris, if you're watching this, for him to say that intentionally, you know why he said it. And I don't care how many times you know something's coming and you expect it and you, you do eventually hear it. If you know it's coming, it, it's easier to handle. But when you don't know it's coming and it comes out unexpectedly, And they're sending a message. It still makes the hair stand up on your back. Back your neck. And it did. It was almost like a lightning bolt. Coming within like 20 feet of me. You know, when you have kids, you can't do that no more. You can't do stuff like that no more. Wow. Guys. I don't like... Right now, with everything going on, Don and Candace being out of town, out of state, the behavior that is coming out right now. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. And Dawn, what's going through your head, bud? Yeah. Matter of fact, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Because again, guys, I think when we find out what happened to Summer, uh, We ain't going to want to know. We're going to wish we never knew. I'll just leave it at that.
You ain't gonna win this game. Whoever did what to Summer, you ain't gonna win this game. Because justice is gonna be served. Law enforcement's gonna get you. And when they do, I hope they send you straight to the backside of hell. Because you may think that you're the master of this game. But you're not. You're a sick individual. Whoever done, whoever is responsible for Summer Wells' disappearance. You're a sick, evil, twisted individual. Now, in a way, well, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bring this up. I'm not even gonna bring it up. I'm not even gonna bring that part up. But, uh, Lord. Um, now we have, and this is, this, this is weird. I'll just say weird. And I do, I still feel bad for her. I, I feel, I feel bad for Kathy. But just six months ago, it was Kathy and Candace against the world. Almost. And now it's Candace against Kathy. And when people email you that used to know Don and Candace and say, you know, uh, they use everybody from churches to organizations, uh, to just individual people, they use you for what they can get out of you, and then they're done with you. And I do remember a news, uh, is either a news article, it might, it might have been, uh, might have been an interview JLR done with, with a pastor. And the pastor was like, yeah, we, we offered them help. But once we run out and couldn't offer them no more, they, they pretty much um, didn't have too nice of words for us, and they never came back. I'm starting to see that these people ain't lying. They're spot on, to be honest with you. Spot on. So, here's what we can talk about, guys. So, Don and Candace are out of town, out of state, and uh, here's another sickening thing that I heard. Supposedly, I seen this in the chat the other night that Don was going around saying that he was getting the oldest boy back and the other two were staying in foster care. Like I said, I hope when law enforcement catches up with Whoever done what to these kids, 
I hope they send you to the back side of hell. So Don is supposedly, I also heard that Don and Candace are supposedly selling the house. You know, they're they're going to sell 110 Ben Hill Road. And I remember someone uh, emailed me this morning and said, did you hear that Don and Candace are supposedly selling the house and, and moving? And my response was, they're getting the hell out of Dodge, ain't they? Oops, wait a minute, they already have. And it reminds me, people have also said, when the pressure starts getting put on them, they run. Has anybody heard that before? If you have heard that when Don and Candace get the pressure put on them from CPS or whoever, they run. I've heard that. Could there be more to Don and Candace being out of the state right now? Is there more to it than just being able to find work? I don't know nothing about drywall, but I guarantee you. I could probably have a job tomorrow or the day after and somebody would train me and it would be in the area it wouldn't be in Arkansas so I don't I don't believe guys it has anything to do with work I'm beginning to wonder if, uh, well, we won't say hiding because, believe me, law enforcement knows. Well, <laughs> let me stop right there. But we all know what happened in the Brian Laundry case. I'm pretty sure they know where they're at. But like Letitia Stout, horrible, horrible. If y'all been following the news, uh, God, God rest Gannon's little soul. Went from Colorado to Myrtle Beach. Where did, uh, oh, here's another one. Where did they end up finally arresting Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell? Something to think about, guys. Something to think about. Now, I'm not going to come out here and say something's about to happen. But it's almost like there's writing on the wall, if you will. Are they avoiding questions? Are they avoiding Law enforcement? Are they avoiding CPS? Are they avoiding Ronnie Lawson? Are they avoiding John Pruitt? When the pressure gets put on them, they like to run. Are you running? Inquiring minds want to know, Don and Candace. Anyway, guys, hope you liked the little episode. Again, thank you to all my member subs. Everybody just watched the channel. Love you guys. Appreciate it. Justice for summer. And again, I can't stress this enough. Once they catch whoever's responsible for what happened this summer, I hope law enforcement swiftly 
puts you on the back side of hell. That's it, guys. I'll see y'all next video. Bam!